Sarah Jessica Parker, 58, has been busy filming the second series of And Just Like That, with it scheduled to be released next month. The Sex and the City star took a step back from her Hollywood duties as she was snapped in the West Village, New York, USA. The actress appeared makeup-free, shielding her face with a pair of large black sunglasses. Sarah sported a pair of grey sweatpants, teamed with a long-sleeve button t-shirt, and black slip-on loafer shoes. Her blonde dresses were slicked back in a tight bun, and she wore a crossover bag and large headphones for the outing. Sarah's appearance comes after she recently opened up about her perspective on aging, and why she will never be the person people expect her to be. In the interview, Sarah admitted that she doesn't feel any pressure to look a certain way, admitting she has the impression other people are more concerned about her appearance. She told Vogue France, I don't really think about age. Well, I don't know if it's denial or that I just don't want to face reality. Holly Willoughby breaks silence as this morning future is confirmed, insight, Eamon Holmes opens up on health dramas and says every day is a struggle, health, Lisa Snowden suffered miscarriage live on air hours after partner attacked her, comment, I don't see the point of trying to suspend time. Of course, I do care about my appearance from time to time and I do want to look presentable when it's appropriate. Sarah admitted she really can't do much regarding what others think, before revealing the most important thing for her is to feel comfortable in her own skin. She concluded, How do I feel when I wear a dress? That's what matters. I dress in a way that makes me feel good and I hope that it's also interesting for people. Sarah is mother to 13-year-old twins Tabitha and Marion, and a 20-year-old son, James, who she shares with husband Matthew Broderick. The actress has been keeping busy with her family and work since the death of her beloved stepdad Paul Giffen forced to last September. The death of her stepfather comes one day after she attended the New York premiere of Hocus Pocus 2 with her husband, Matthew and her twin daughters Tabitha and Marion.